Hello guys, I'm Zim from Omenahead. In this video I'll show you how I use MP in FL Studio with my Artphone Instrument 1. But Zim, you'll say, there is no official MP support for FL Studio yet, and you'll be right. But there is this awesome template made by an awesome guy named Photon from the image line FL Studio forum. All credits go to him for inventing and creating this awesome template. I just wanted more people to know about this. It is a patcher setup. You load up Serum or any other MP compatible plugin and connect it at the end of the chain. Set the port to 1, same number as your controller. For this to work, you need to download MIDI Shapeshifter and copy paste the script in your FL Studio folders. For full info and install instructions, go to the link in the description. It's really easy. In Serum here, I have set up the filter cutoff or any other knob you want to be modulated by the MPE Y Timba or CC74 or Brightness and each node has its own filter modulation. I could also set it to MPE Z Pressure or CC253 or Channel Aftertouch Make sure MPE is enabled in Serum. On Instrument 1 you can access MPE Y Timba in the Bow method and it's how much pressure you apply to the plugging pads, while MPE Z Pressure is the pressure you apply to the frets themselves and it is there in all Instrument 1 methods. Also, each note has its own pitch bend, MPE X, so you can do stuff like opposite slides as well. All of this of course can be recorded into patterns as notes and mid events using the record button for further editing. I hope you enjoyed the following jam I made with MPE.